Last time we talked about carburetors and how they work. Now we're going to move on to electronic fuel injection and how it works. When the EPA was cracking down on manufacturers to lower emissions, there was one answer and that was electronic fuel injection. Some early EFI systems use throttle body injection or TBI, which uses a throttle body like this with electronic fuel injectors built inside. As you can see, the overall size and dimensions are similar to a carburetor, so many components could be retained during manufacturing like the air cleaner, throttle linkage, and intake manifold. The problem with TBI technology at the time is that it wasn't much more efficient, if any, than a carburetor. It just sprays fuel down in through the inlet of the intake manifold, much like a carburetor, which isn't ideal. So the OEMs needed something that was more advanced, and that's where multi-port fuel injection comes in. This is a factory intake manifold off of a late model GM LS engine. It shares one common fuel rail for all eight cylinders, which feeds fuel into injectors similar to this one here, which are located in the intake runners near the combustion chamber. And the air comes in through the throttle body port, which would be right here. The computer sends a signal to the injectors and tells them when to open and for how long to stay open, making this a much more efficient system and drastically reducing emissions. Now, of course, the aftermarket has taken a hold of both the TBI and multi-port fuel injection technology and created what we call standalone systems, where you don't need an OEM computer to control your EFI system. You have a computer that's made in the aftermarket that does everything for you. This is a Holly Sniper EFI system. It's a TBI system that just bolts right in place of your factory carburetor. It is self-tuning and will lower emissions. It has a computer built in, so it is an easy swap. This is a single plane intake manifold, very similar to your traditional single plane four barrel, except that this thing was cast with the provisions for multi-port fuel injection already built in. You've got the ports here for the injectors and it's even got the fuel rails already mounted. Now this thing will need a throttle body, which will mount right up here, or you can use a, an elbow like this and mount the throttle body on the front. Now what you'll need to keep in mind if you have something like this is you'll need all the other provisions that you'll need for an EFI system like all of the sensors and other inputs for the computer. Electronic fuel injection systems require much more fuel pressure than a carburetor. So a mechanical fuel pump like this one here, which provides about five to seven PSI, well that's not gonna do the trick. So you need an electric fuel pump like this setup here. And this one actually submerges into the tank and it has a sending unit built in. 